Hey guys, hi, welcome back. So in this video, we will be discussing about uh, solid state physics questions of just 2013. In the last video, we have discussed about just 2012. And in this video, we will see just 2013. There are only two questions which came in just 2013. So the first question is, a flat surface is covered with non-overlapping disk of same size. What is the largest fraction of the area that can be covered? So here you're having a flat surface and the flat surface is covered using what? Non-overlapping disk. And all the disks are of same size. So if you have studied the solid state physics, you will understand that non-overlapping disk of same size, when it is covering a flat surface, you will get what? You will get the hexagonal lattice. So here you can see, if I just consider disk, suppose these are the disk, okay? These are not that round, but I'm trying to maintain it, okay? So again, I will write, I will draw one more here, okay? Another here, one more here, okay? And last two I'm drawing here. This is the disk, okay? These are non-overlapping disks. So these are the centers of the disk. Now when you will join all the centers of the disk, you will see you will get a hexagonal lattice, okay? This. And so this is this is reflecting a figure of a hexagonal. Now, when you will join these centers as well, then you will get six equilateral triangles. All right. So you will get something of this type. All right. So if you see, this is what this is the radius, right? This is the radius, and this length is said to be the distance between two centers of the disk. It is a is equals to what two r. Okay. This is what it is here. Is it clear to you? Now you see in this case, you will have to calculate what? The packing fraction, right? Because the packing fraction will give you what? It will give you the largest fraction of area. Okay, largest extraction of area is what? The packing fraction. So what we know, we know that packing fraction, packing fraction, it is equals to what? An effective into with area of the disk so we know the area of the disk is what it is in the shape of a circle so it is pi r square right divided by 6 into with the a means it is the area of the hexagon so area of the hexagon you can write 6 into with the area of equilateral triangle which is root 3 by 4 a square so here a is your 2r we will calculate n effective as well so when, if you have a good knowledge and if you remember, you can directly put the n effective for hexagon is three. So you can calculate the n effective, right? So how you can calculate n effective? N effective for hexagonal, you can write nc by three plus nf by two plus ni, right? So it will be one by three into with six and this side you will have one. So three twos are and you will get here three, okay? Two plus one. So this is how you can calculate. So directly we will put here the value of and effective it's 3 into with pi r square right divided by 6 into with root 3 by 4 a square means 4 r square so r square and r square gets cancelled 3 twos are right and this 4 and this 4 will get cancelled so finally it will be pi and in the denominator what you will have 2 root 3 right pi by 2 root 3 so your correct option is option d so directly you can do in this way so it's not tough so now let us see the Next question. Okay, question number two. Here it is said a map suffers a structural phase transition from phase center cubic to the simple cubic structure. It is observed that this phase transition does not involve any change of volume. The nearest neighbor distances D, FCC, and DSC. For FCC and SC structures respectively are in the ratio of this. Two to the power one by three is one point two six. The question is simple. There is a phase transition from FCC to simple cubic okay fcc to which simple cubic change in volume is not there okay there is no change in volume so you are just asked to calculate the ratio of the nearest distances so if you have seen the simple cubic okay in case of simple cubic you will see if i'm drawing a cube of this side okay so here you will have what only at these points you will have right only at these points you will have so here c n will be what six right n Nearest neighbor will be A. Similarly, for FCC, if you see, in case of FCC, I'm not drawing here. 
it is a face centered right so here you, you will have one here one here one at this one at this one at this let's see in this okay this is there if you draw one here here and then here Now, if you join all the centers, okay, appropriate, but just for R and R, okay, this is also A. So this length will be what? This is the diagonal line because if you get a square, if this is A, then you get the diagonal as what? Root 2. You can directly see when you calculate it from this, you will get A root 2, right? By Pythagoras theorem, you can just see. You'll get it to be what? A root 2. So now when you will calculate this entire sum, okay, so what you will get in case of FCC, you will get it to be what nearest neighbor will be what this is a this is a right 